present you my latest project, the Sorcus Group exhibition at the Titanic Gallery. For me, as a curator, I see my practice as being a butterfly. I fly between flowers, and these flowers are artists, and make networks between them and the audience. You. Next, we're going to take a look at my selection of artists. Now in Morocco, right now I'm working with two video works, wall painting, drawing. There's also a thinking process going on about the ready-made piece I'm going to do at the Titanic Gallery show. My Bing Bong 92 Instagram account has become one of the most important mediums for me. It is perfect for my lifestyle because with it I can do my practice wherever I am. I can look at and point at things anywhere I am. Like pointing at the thing is like making a point on something, right? And I think that when you communicate by making a point without words, it's the purest form of art. I think maybe, maybe before cave paintings there has already been art practice among these people. So maybe ready-mades are the first artworks before cave paintings. And just got fascinated by this theory of mine and re realizing that my practice is like on level one. I've started to paint as kind of second level to live through that art historical progress within my career. And I think natural progress is to sculpt that pizza slice out of the rock I did the drawing on. But isn't it then ready-made by God? But isn't everything created by God? So really, um, for me, the work is the work. Um, I honestly don't see the necessity of anything beyond process. And um, the process is, is the form for me. And often I make work about literally about work, about the process of the process, um, the structure of the process. I think in making work about the work itself, I can reach some greater um, understanding, maybe metaphysical understanding, about how we live our lives day to day and how we as human beings interact with one another, what we need from one another, what we take from one another. This act of focusing on my own process can reveal uh, so much to the viewer um, because they in turn will consider their own process of living, of working, of producing, you know, that kind of self-reflexive uh, questioning is really the ultimate goal. At the moment, I am in an artist residency here in Lapland. I am working on a musical piece for the Sorbus Group exhibition in Titanic. In my musical work, I mostly work with my laptop computer. For the piece I am working on for the Titanic exhibition, 
I aim to add some original northern swag to make it sway in nicely. In my artistic practice I find it important to work close to untouched nature. From my studio window I can see trees with snow on their branches. In my work I always want to take ecological issues into consideration and support biodiversity. As a composer, I always aim to clear up all my soul into my music, but I still want to leave some bits of smegma floating there on the side. My life revolves around the mystery. Is this real? Or am I dreaming? It's amazing how much more interesting your artwork is getting. What do you mean, interesting? It's not boring, you know. You got a nice little irony. Irony? Yes, nice irony. How is the tension? It's nice. Nice? Yes, nice. Could you just tell us if you think we are any good? Just, just tell us if we have any talent if we have any or if we are just wasting, just our, wasting time. our time. Because sometimes we feel we should just quit. Just tell us what you think. It doesn't matter what I think. It's, it's your work. You make art because you, because you have to. It's not about that. It's just do it. Are you any good? You are 26. You are 28. So who knows? Who cares? Do you want to give up? You can. That means you weren't really allowed to the world to begin with. Thank you. 